Question 6 is a rather difficult question. Calculate. And there they give us two summations. The one goes from negative 3 to 3 of gx minus and then from k going from negative 2 to 2 for gk. Sorry, both have gk in them. So what that means is that we are going to have to do the following. Okay. We are starting with the first one. The first one, k is equal to negative 3 and it ends at negative 3 as well. So in that case it's just going to be g and instead of k we're going to write negative 3. Mm, and then we're going to subtract minus. Okay. Now what are we going to subtract? Well we're going to subtract that summation as well and this time g is going from negative 2, sorry not g, k is going from negative 2 to positive 2. So in other words we're going to have g of negative 2 plus, that's why it's called summation, g of negative 1 plus g of 0 plus g of 1 plus g of 2. Now what is this g of this, g of that? Well, we're going to have to substitute x with a negative 3 to get the value for g negative 3. But we don't even have the function formula for g yet. Let's go. We don't have g of x. g of x is ax squared plus bx plus c. So our first step is going to be to find a function formula for g. <coughs> so gx is equal to a x squared plus b x plus c. Now since we are given the turning point, remember we calculated the coordinates of a, that's the turning point, we calculated it as negative 1 comma 0. It's going to be easier to use this method, gx is equal to a x minus p squared plus q. <coughs> Because we already have P and Q. We have A, X minus P, X minus P is now negative 1. Okay, that is my P, and that is my Q. P is negative 1, so negative negative 1 is positive 1 squared plus Q is equal to 0. <coughs> And now, how am I going to find the value for A? Well, I'm going to substitute any other point on the graph. And we have another point on the graph. On G, we've got 0, 7. So in other words, when X is equal to 0, Y is equal to 7. So 0 plus 1 is 1 squared plus 0. So we find, aha, uh -huh, A is equal to 7. So there we go, we have a function formula for gx. It's equal to, uh, sorry, 7. 7 x plus 1 squared. Now they didn't ask us to give this in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So I don't need to go and simplify it. But what I do need to go do is now use it to find the values g negative 2. So I substitute a negative 2 in here. Negative 2 plus 1 gives me negative 1. Squared gives me 7. So, sorry, gives me 1 times 7 gives me 7. Then I substitute g negative 1. Let's go up a bit. We now have that that is equal to 7 minus Okay, now we need g negative, sorry, should be negative 3. That one is 7. g negative 3, let's do that one first. g negative 3, I put a negative 3 in here. I'm going to get 
negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared gives me 4. 4 times 7 is 28. So this is going to be 28. Sorry for that mistake. And now we already did g negative 2. Now g negative 1. <coughs> g negative 1 is equal to negative 1 plus 1 is 0. 0 squared is 0 times 7 is 0. So now g 0. Okay, Let's just put that in. That one is plus 0. Now g of 0. g of 0 gives me 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1 times 7 is 7. Then g positive 1 g positive 1 that one is 7 g positive 1 g positive 1 is 1 plus 1 is 2 2 squared is 4 times 7 is 28 28 now g 2 I think that's the last one ok yes so that one is plus 28 and now the last one g 2 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. 3 squared is 9. 9 times 7 is 63. So here I have 63. So what do I have? I've got 28 minus all of these values. But you see there's also a plus 28 that's going to become a minus 28. So those two are going to cancel each other. Okay, so we have 7 with a negative in front, so but 7 plus 7 plus 63, that gives me 77, but negative 77, because all of those numbers are actually subtracted, so that the total or the final answer, um, I'm just going to write it as this, so that sum, that final answer, is going to be 77. Let's go and put in all of this information into what they gave me. Okay, first they asked for the equation of G. Now you can write any one of the two formats, that would be fine. I'm going to use this format plus 1 squared. Okay, now how much is G negative 3? We saw it was 28 g negative 2 was 7, g1 was 0, g0 zero was 7, g1 was 28, g2 was 63. Okay, so putting it in here, okay, this part, in other words, adding up gk, if k goes from negative 3 to negative 3, so it was just that portion, is equal to 28. minus, that's now that negative there, if I have to subtract this part going from negative 2, so it's that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, adding all of them together, what is it, 14 plus 28 is 42, plus 63 gives me 105, minus 105, gives me an answer of negative 77. And that's it. Good luck doing it on your own.